What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and it's that time again, time for a brand new arena and uh, I don't know anything about this arena this week so let's find out what they're going to throw at us. Um, we don't have any big bosses to worry about. Um, the piercing plant, no sun, that's interesting. So the uh, poisony type plants have been uh, buffed which kind of makes me want to bring a nightcap just to see. Uh, but I can't bring in any sun production, which is really interesting. Has me wondering what's going to happen in terms of sun. Um, I don't like all those tombstones being here. Um, also, I see no reason why we can't bring in, um, you know, this old thing again. This this thing right here. I don't know. Should I try it? It could work. Um, especially since I'm not bringing, bringing in any sun. This could work. I don't know though. I don't know how many. I don't know if I'm gonna get any sun from the stage itself. I'll find out. I mean, we'll find out as we go along, right? Uh, this could be good. This could be what we're looking for. I kind of want to bring it in pair just in case um, that it's used. Where is in pair? Mm, where are you at? In pair? In pair? There you are. Let's rock. I don't know. So I want to start off like this, and then, man, I really don't know. Uh, dude, I can't afford those. I'm really worried that I'm not going to get a lot of sun. So let me just try. Let me just try. I mean, this this might be just undoable. Let's rock. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to get any more sun. I really don't know. We have those, which is cool. We are getting a lot of sun, by the way. <laughs> For those of you wondering, we are getting a lot of a constant sun coming down. I'm also going to drop these in the front, maybe. Maybe this in the back there. Uh, I don't have... Okay. I'm getting plenty of sun. No worries here. I should have run in tile turnip or something, but instead of the, instead of the shrooms... These guys are going down instantly. Uh, yeah, really no no complaints here. These guys are honestly gone really quick. This is almost too good, honestly. Man, another situation where uh, just this this combo basically destroys everything that's here, and I don't really know how to follow up. I don't even know if these uh, these nightcaps are doing anything, really. They seem to be doing a little bit. Oh, there they go. They try to get through. They try to sneak through. Here we go. All right. Man, I really got to look into it. I got to... Like, this is one of the things where it's like, I don't know if the score can improve at this point. We're, we're just killing everything instantly. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, if they if they give, like sometimes I feel like I'm I'm really struggling with the stage, right? This doesn't feel like any sort of struggle whatsoever. It's just happening. It's great. And really, the only thing to learn from this is timing issues. Like, you know, maybe I would try to try to time it so I took those guys out as soon as they came out. That way, I get a couple more points for them. But all of these zombies are dying super duper quick. I can probably put in even more right here. 10 seconds remaining. Yeah, I wish. So we're looking at what? Like, what was it? Like one point whatever million? Two million. We broke two million on that. Can we do better? I don't know. Uh, I think it would, honestly, like if I didn't just look up the strategy, what it would take is me going up against somebody who beats me. And I don't know how p plausible that is. Um, I kind of want to try again. I want to see what happens if I just do nightcaps only. It may not be as good, honestly. How about how about let's like really just try something a little crazy. We'll do nightcaps only, but also something else. <laughs> we'll also do headbutter lettuce. Like headbutter lettuce and nightcaps only. 
Oh, and then in the back, just in case there is problems, and there probably will be problems, um, I'm going to actually... Yeah, you know what? I'm just not going to bring it in pear. And I'll bring in head butter lettuce, and I'll emphasize, you know, nightcaps and head butter lettuce. But if I need to, then, you know, I'll put in... Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's tough. All right, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Put one of these in the back really quick. Thank you. We're looking for... Okay, so he got through. He got through. It's okay. So this is obviously not going as, as well as the other thing was. Okay, one more nightcap. Let's see where we're at. So these guys are kind of getting through. This isn't nowhere near the, the, as good as I can do with this strategy, but we're doing good in the sense that not a lot of people are squeezing by. He got through a little bit. Um. Yeah, so so we're not doing as much damage as as the the torchwood situation here. So that's one thing to highly consider. We're only going to break a million right now. Probably not two million. So obviously as a baseline, we did way better. One point three, and we're not like super far off from two million. Not really. Yeah, 1.5. I beat my, my opponent, though, so I don't have to worry much about that. So what would I do differently? I mean, I would go back to where we were. And in fact, well, no, I wouldn't consider a an explosive strategy because we don't have enough plant food. So I wouldn't really consider an explosive strategy. I would just go back to where we were with a Torchwood 3 Peter strategy, you know? Just, like, go with that, see where we're at. And then I would probably don't don't even bring in that. I would just bring this in. Although the poison stuff has been buffed. What else is poisonous? Let's see. Anything else like stands out that would be like amazing? Hmm. I mean, I could just put in the vampire genies up front, I guess. I don't know. But I don't think I need them really. Um Let's rock. Let's try this again. I'm going to put these all here. Just ignore everything else. Um, sure. Here we go. And then I'm just going to kind of work to get these filled in. Look, look how just instantly they just go away. That's beautiful. Those didn't even blow in very fast. Uh, here we go. Things are still going, huh? Need one more at 200 and then I'll feel comfortable putting... Actually, I, I would want to put in a, one more. Just to really let it all loose. There you go. Let's go. Are we ready? Let's fast forward. Let's hit this. Love it. And then now we're just going to start dropping in things like this. I don't know when to... 
when to drop this down, honestly. Maybe the next time the wind kicks in? Because the goal is to stop them from getting any anywhere with it, but... Maybe getting in closer would help a little bit. I don't have any more plant food abilities, so... All right, so we're just gonna see, you know, I'm just gonna start putting this in here. Should I put in some uh, some of the head butter lettuce that I brought in? Maybe. There we go, just slip those in here, why not? My goal really at this point is just to try to hopefully break two million in a, in a decent way. Literally don't know how useful those are. Those things don't fill up very fast either, do they? Well, so far we haven't broken two million, so that didn't really help at all. My opponent didn't get close either. I kind of do wonder about a Blover strategy. It's been a long time since I've tried one. Let's try a blower strategy, guys. No clue if this is gonna work. Uh, for this blower strategy, we're talking about bringing in the primal pea shooter. Which is gonna be uh, right up here. And that's the big change we're making. I'm not going to bring this in. I'm going to bring in Blover. Okay, I don't know. All right, here we go. I'm just going to try to keep this filled in so that we... Now, does it still do a knockback when there's uh... I don't know. I can't tell you. Oh, I thought I already put one of those on. I guess I hadn't. I don't even know if I've blown anyone away. I really can't. I really don't think... I, I, does the... Torch would affect negate the, the, the knockback effect. That's the only thing that I can think of is maybe that does happen. Yeah, this doesn't like appear to be any sort of something amazing, but. Hmm. I really can't tell. The Torchwood might might negate this knockback effect. I really don't know. All right. And really, I think I think overall the strategy of using. Uh, Of using the um, the tiles, the tile turnip isn't gonna work because I don't have a lot of plant food. I honestly cannot even tell you if this is working because I'm just I'm just taking them out pretty quickly, not as quickly as with the uh, three Peters, but it seems like they're going away pretty darn quick. I would say. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. Don't, I don't know what to say, dude. This is, I mean, actually, this score is not terrible, but we only have uh, 30 seconds left. I don't know. I, I guess I must be blowing some people off. I, I'm just not really looking, I guess. I don't know. We're at 1.8. I 
I honestly, I, I don't know. I cannot tell you. Well, we broke this two million barrier, which is interesting. Two point two. That's my best score yet. Two point three. Okay. All right. Um. So. Now what needs to happen? I don't know. That strategy seemed to work better though, right? 2.3? Somehow better. Hmm. What if we just try uh, mixing in uh, sticky bomb rice, which often happens. Let's try again, mixing in sticky bomb rice. And we'll see what the score is. If it's not like tremendously better, I think 2.3 is gonna be my personal cap. I haven't looked up anyone else's strategies yet, so don't know. But we're gonna go back to this. Um, I guess mixing in sticky bomb rice. Instead of uh, Powering up all the torch was will only power up like three of them. Probably because I don't think that will. Oh shoot, I forgot to put. All right, hold on, I need to put. There we go, hold on. Totally forgot. Dang it. Okay, hold on. The top the top really needs love here. Dang, the bottom needs more love than that, too. Alright, right there. There you go. Alright, we're at a decent spot, I think. Now, does the sticky bomb rice reach people who are who are on the tops and bottoms? I don't know. I'll just put one here, just in case. I can't believe I don't know that. I should know that, I think. I think I should know that. Tops and bottoms, I think, are very well covered for the moment. We're at a million. Okay, a million's pretty good, I would say. This one guy's really caught up on it. Point six million, pretty good, I would say. Two million, so we just got to cross over two point three. I mean, we got a ton of stuff going on here. We're gonna, we are gonna cross over two point three, by the way. I think sticky bomb rice was a, a very welcome addition. Obviously, I'm gonna also put in one of these. Why not? Totally forgot about putting in those. Why not? 2.6. 2.7. Not bad, dude. I mean, that's going to probably be where I top out. I don't know what else I could do differently. Would love to break three. Don't know if that's going to happen. Um... But that seems pretty good. Maybe you know what? Let's let's kick it back. Forget the blower. See if we what kind of score we get. 
Just by like three Peters and sticky bomb rice. How about that? Let's see where we end up. Three Peters and sticky bomb rice and uh, torchwood. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll try it. See if we even approach 2.8. Might not. But uh, this looks like a good go at it. If I just put it there. No blovers either. What do we want to do instead of blovers? Uh, I don't know. Oh, how about appeasements? I totally forgot about that. All right, so we're going to do this. And then I guess I'll put one there. Let's rock. All right. And here we go. Sticky bomb rice coming through as well. Basically, just whatever it lets me get away with is what I'm going to be doing here. All right, come on now. Okay. There you go, do this one again, there you go. So far so good, I think. What do these vampires things even do when they're full? This, I mean, I literally don't know what these vampire things are even doing right now, by the way. <laughs> I, can, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know this one very well, I guess. Sandstorm, we have a minute left. Okay. Hmm. There you go with this again. One point five. It might be, I don't know. I don't know why it's doing so much better. This is only 1.8. Yeah, with the with the Blover, we were actually doing quite well. We didn't even break two that time. So 2.8 seems to be my top score. If you know how to do better, let me know in the comments below. I gotta do Penny's Pursuit next. I'll see you. Goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.